to another trip report. Today I'm flying from Los Angeles on the low-cost carrier Norwegian Airlines back to London. Uh, it's one of the more interesting flights because it does leave really early. It leaves around one o'clock in the afternoon and most of the uh, LAX departures back to London leave at night. So I've uh, never flown Norwegian low-cost in economy before. So let's go check it out. Norwegian Air fly from the Tom Bradley International Terminal at LAX Airport. The terminal itself is actually really nice, modern, clean, and very easy to navigate. After clearing security, you're greeted to a mass amount of shops and really a very small amount of places to actually find something to eat. So I would advise eating before you head to the airport if you can. Along with a few other airlines, Norwegian Air use a really remote gate at Tom Bradley so far away that I've never actually been to these gates before and this was my first time seeing them. As you keep walking and walking to find the gates, it's almost like you're leaving LAX and you've entered Luton Airport as you can see. It's, it's like a giant shed tacked onto the side of LAX. But that really doesn't have anything to do with Norwegian Air and why you're watching this video. So let's just carry on and talk about the airline itself and where we're flying today. After having my boarding pass scanned, we jumped on a bus which was going to take us down to a remote gate so we could board the aircraft. Got some nice views of the runway along the way. One of the nice things about Norwegian Air is that most of their Boeing 787s are relatively new. The one I was flying on today was less than six months old and was in great shape inside. This is of course providing that Norwegian don't sub out the 787 to another airline to run the service. Depending on your fare type, a seat assignment can be included with your ticket when flying Norwegian. Rows 6, 9 and 11 all come with extra legroom at no additional price, which is great if you're booking far in advance and you can get those seats. That does however only apply to the Boeing 787-9. If you're on the 787-8, row 6 will give you the extra legroom, which is pretty much a bulkhead seat like mine. Having these bulkhead seats does reduce the width of your seat by a tiny bit, but I'd much rather have the legroom so I'm able to stretch out my legs. The tray table is located in the armrest and you also have your in-flight entertainment remote located to the side of your seat and your TV screen is located just in front of you which you have to pull up and release to be able to use it. The cabin is very minimal on Norwegian and no expense is spared, but in all fairness the seats are just as comfortable as any other airline that flies a modern aircraft and the prices that Norwegian charge are much lower. Norwegian Airlines has really expanded in America in the last couple of years and they have quite an extensive route network now. The air show does provide very detailed information about your flight and it's always handy to reference if you want to know where you are. There is also a handy USB charge point located on your TV monitor at the front. Now despite being a low cost airline, Norwegian doesn't charge for its in-flight entertainment. They have a good selection of new movies and also a large selection of classic movies to pick from and the picture quality is actually really good on the IFE screens. Okay, so let's talk about the food. You have two options for food when flying with Norwegian. You can either just buy on board when you're on the aircraft by using your IFE screen, swipe through beers, wine, spirits and snacks and sandwiches add them into your cart and just check it out and it'll be brought to you, which is a great system. Or you have the other option, which Norwegian really likes to trick you into doing. And I'm just gonna point this out now. If you can eat before the flight, or if you don't need food during the flight, don't buy the meals. Not only are they absolute rip off at 25 pounds for the in-flight meal, you're about to see some of the worst airplane food I've ever eaten. And trust me on this, I am not a fussy eater. I pretty much eat anything placed in front of me. But this meal was disgusting. 
It was basically liquid mashed potato with a overcooked piece of chicken and vegetables. And also the cake that came with it was so dry. I took one bite and had to put it down and I instantly needed water. It was really bad. And that's your main meal that you get for 25 pounds. There is also another snack that you get just before you arrive and I'll show you that later in the video. The bathroom on the Boeing 787 is fairly standard and kept in pretty clean condition, so that's a benefit. Now overall, I actually really enjoy flying Norwegian Airlines. I love their new aircraft, I love the fact that they offer amazing prices on the route. I paid the equivalent of just £169 to fly one way from Los Angeles to London, which in my book is a really good deal. And once again, if you can snag those bulkhead or exit row seats on these aircraft, which cost no more than the normal tickets, it's really worth it and makes an 11 hour flight go so much quicker. About one hour before arrival, you are bought your second meal included in your £25 purchase. Now I understand Norwegian don't make the food, but they must be able to provide guidelines to the people making these menus for them. The arrival meal today was a sandwich, a processed donut, and a really processed apple juice drink. And just wait till you see the sandwich. Not only was it so dry, look at this, one piece of meat and a piece of cheese and it was just on bread. Disgusting. Really not worth the money. This video was made possible by all of my patrons who partly support my content. Thank you very much to my $15 plus patrons whose names are listed below and all of my other patron backers. Made it after the 11 hour flight. I'm here in England and I sort of can't quite believe how sunny it is today. Um, had a really good flight with Norwegian Airlines, but definitely fly them again on that route. I really enjoyed the earlier flight time. Um, so thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe. I'll see you again soon.